G'day, I'm Gary Pye. Uh, my latest character for the 2Ds series of G3 characters for Cartoon Animator is the Doctor. The Doctor is now in the house. I like to make these videos, particularly with characters like the 2Ds, which have uh, some unusual uh, builds or rigs in them, some little tweaks that you need to know to get the best performance, the best use out of your characters. Um, so let's whip across now to Cartoon Animator 5. I'll give you a quick introduction to the Doctor. Okay, when you first load the Doctor to stage mode, he looks perfectly normal, but you're going to notice something a little bit funny as soon as you go to move his head. You watch. Ta-da! You'll see the Doctor has two heads, okay? The reason for this is because the 2D's characters, not all of them have a full 360 head. Some of them have a partial 360 head. And what I do in order to get that full head turn is I put two heads in. One is the 360 head, which has the full range of eyes and mouths and all the sprites so that you can have him talk and you can have limited movement of him looking around. And then I have six individual head sprites so that you can simulate the head turn and the head coming back. And then you can flip the camera and with some clever little camera cuts, you can get a convincing body turn on your character. So let me explain the difference between the two heads for you. Okay, when we open our sprite editor, right? If you go to the body, you'll see head turn. This is the sprite head. It has six different heads that you can choose from to simulate the turn. And when you go to the face, you've got all the individual components that make up the full face. Let's work with that first. So for now, let's go back to the body, go to a blank space and hit empty. And now we've only got the one head showing. So if you click on the head now, when he turns, he's only got the one head turning, okay? So this full head has all the sprites for mouth movement, for eye control, for eye, different eye shapes and things like that. We can all your different eye shapes. The doctor has a lot of sprites built in, so you can get some fantastic range of um, acting and emotion from this character. But if you want to do the head turn, okay, what you need to do is to turn all this off. So if you go to each panel and click an empty panel on each of these, you'll see the doctor's head starting to disappear. Okay. And that will just take a couple of seconds to do simply because the doctor just has so many sprites in them now. A lot of these characters that I'm making now have more and more sprites in them, which is great because it gives you more and more customization, but it does mean sometimes there's a little bit more fiddling around uh, when you wanna work with them and get them as smooth as possible. So we've turned all the face parts off. What do we missed? The nostril and the mouth. And those off and the ear. Now that we've turned those items all off, okay, we can go back to the body, click the head turn. These six sprites here, when I click on normal, that will come up. In, on, on your timeline, if you separate each of these sprites by about two keyframes, you will get a nice, smooth head turn of your character. Then you can turn the character head head back again, then swap back over to the other head and go back into acting. That way, while he's facing that direction, okay, if you do a neat camera cut to something else, then come back, you can flip your entire character and, um, and, and have him walk the other direction. It just, it's just clever ways that you can be able to still work with your character changing directions. Okay. Let's go back here for one second and let's reload the character so that I can show you a couple of the other features of the Doctor. All of my characters for Cartoon Animator 5 are vector-based characters. That means we can move in on the Doctor, we can go zooming right in on him, and you're not going to lose any quality. You'll see down in the bottom corner here, uh, CTA 5 will tell you when it's vectorized, and you can now get nice sharp images as you as you zoom in on your characters which is which is fantastic for close up shots because we've just loaded a new version of the doctor in let's make sure that we turn off one of the heads in this case we'll turn off the head turn so that i can show you the other face 
if you open your face key editor, you've got your little head rotation gizmo here, okay? You'll see the doctor's head does still rotate. It just doesn't go all the way from one direction to all the way to the other. The idea being that you use the head flip to do that. So that's easy enough. But you can still get some nice rotation through the doctor's head doing the head gizmo rotation. Uh, then don't forget to use your detailed settings on your face key editor for, let's get rid of the gizmo for a second so that we don't have to look at that. In here, in the face key detail settings, we've got the brow, the eye, the nose, the mouth, all of which we can make nice subtle changes to all the different parts. I'm particularly fond of the squint on the eye. I love that. It just just changes the character so much. Um, then on the now on the the mouth detail settings on this particular 2D, you're not going to get any changes. That's because we're purely doing sprite swapping on the mouth. On a character that's got a full 360 head, you can use the detail settings on the mouth. You can't use them on the characters that have their head sprite swap the way this character does. Another thing that the doctor has is built-in spring bones. That means in his hair, I've got spring bones set up so that when you move his head, let's just reduce the size of that a little bit. Okay, that means that when we grab his head and move it, his hair has that nice wobble about it. Um, just going to give you a lot more natural movement, particularly when you apply a motion. And we'll do that now just to quickly show you, watch the doctor's hair. If we go to our content manager, we go to motions, uh, animation, 2D motion, all motions, uh, walk cycle. If we do the double bounce, apply it, do the loop, you can see the doctor's hair, the way it gets that nice spring and bounce. How good is that? How good is that? And we do nothing. We do nothing at all to get that animation in there. If you want to, if, like, you go back a couple of versions of Cartoon Animator. If you wanted his hair to do that, let's watch it again. Let's, let's watch it again and let's watch it in close up because it's just so good. But if we wanted the doctor's hair to get that sort of a bounce in it, you would have had to keyframe all that individually. It would drive you crazy. So yeah, look, pre-made motions and spring bones in Cartoon Animator 5, man, they're, they're so good. They're so good. It's just massive time saver. Okay, now the last thing that I want to show you on the dock, color management. Because the characters in Cartoon Animator 5 now have color management, that means that we can go in, it's all pre-set up for you, we can go in and we can make lots of customization to this character using color management. If you click on the SVG color management adjustment, you'll see we've got an option of clothing or body. And under that, we've got all different folders that cover all different aspects of the doctor. For example, uh, let's go with the hair. If you select just the hair, as you can see what's blinking, that's everything that's going to be affected. So if you wanted to reduce the brightness, that's what you end up with, okay? But you can do this individually as well. So we can just, do the mustache. We can just darken the mustache up. Okay. Uh, we can just darken up the eyebrows. Okay. So it, you're starting to change the look of the character. Then if we take the glasses, reduce the brightness of the glasses, we're changing the look of the character. Then something that's really cool. If we click on hair main, which is the main hair of the character, we can change the color the saturation, the contrast, the brightness, we can change all that, but we can also change the opacity. And if you drop it to zero, it disappears. Again, changing the whole look of the actor. And what I've done in this particular actor, when you go to the skin, is if you have a look, you've got the skin main, which is fine. So that if we want to darken up his skin to make him look like a different ethnicity, we can do that. I mean, how good is that? That's so fast, right? But you can individually do his nose freckles and the freckles on the top of his head. So by reducing their opacity, you can have those either darken, lighten, change color, or disappear altogether.
So there you have it. Some of the new features of the new 2D's Doctor character, G3 character, a cartoon animator 5. He's a fabulous character. You can do wonders with these 2D's characters. Anything you need, any questions that you have, send me a message on my Facebook page. I'm always available to answer questions. I hope you love this character. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.